And here we go, my math party people. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to turn decimals into percents. And this is probably arguably the easiest thing you'll ever do because when it comes to decimals and percents, there's a very clear relationship that I'm gonna teach you, make things happen the right way, and you're good to go. So first off, let's start off with here number one. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this done. So we have 0 0.05. We wanna turn that into a percent. So here's the one thing you need to remember. The word percent, per cent, means for every 100 or out of 100. Per cent. Per meaning out of, cent meaning 100. So per cent, per 100. So what does that mean? Well, really all you need to do then to get this done is to find out what this is out of 100. And the easiest way to do that, here's the rule. Multiply by 100. Multiply by 100. That's it. Multiply by 100. And the shortcut, the super, super, super duper shortcut to this is just move the decimal place over two times to the right. And that's it. So 0 0.05. That is the same thing as saying, hey, just move it over one, two. So we have five out of 100, 5% out of 100. That's it. Boom, D. So if we go to number two, seriously, this is actually super convenient. I'm only going to do like five problems and then let you go because this is actually super straightforward. So we have 0 0.786. Really what you need to do is move that decimal place over to the right two times because what you're doing is you're multiplying the top and the bottom technically by 100. That's all you're doing. So this, boom, boom, 78.6%. Right there. Next up, we got 0.21. Move it over. That's 21%. Right there. You got 0 0.52 over here. Hey, move it over. 1, 2, 52%. Boom. All good. Let's keep it going here. Okay, you got 0 0.04. 1, 2. You got 4%. And you're done. You got 0.66, move it over, 66%. Do you see how easy this is? Let me try to find an example where maybe something funky is going on. Um, let's go ahead and see. Can we find anything that's funky going on? Let's go ahead and find something crazy. Okay, here, 0 0.005. This is, again, still going to be something very straightforward. You take that decimal, 1, 2, and just like this free YouTube video right here my Math 40 people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. You have yourself 0.5%. Right there. That is really it. That is really it, my Math 40 people. Going into another one here that may look complicated. Let's see. Let's say we're looking at over here, number 26. Again, move the decimal place over to the right two times. One, two, 2.1%. 2 That's C. That's it. That's seriously it, my math party people. So let's go ahead and find another one here before I cut this video short. So number 30, 0 0.008, one, two. That is 0.8%. Right there. Let's take a look at another one here. Let's keep looking for something that's a little more complicated. Maybe a whole number or a number greater than one, maybe. Let's see, do we have anything here? Nah, these are pretty much all the same. So hey, my party people, when you're converting decimals into percents, just move the decimal place to the right two times. To go from a percent to a decimal, move it to the left two times. That's it. It's the difference between multiplying by 100 and dividing by 100, and you're good. And so, with that said, this is a very, very, very short video because again, it's necessary to show you how to get this done. But now up next, if you're in the course, go ahead and move forward into those worksheets, guided practice, and the speed drills. That way you can go ahead and raise your speed, make sure that this is never an issue, and then continue blasting this test all the way until you pass with that score you want. So with that said, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next one. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.